Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And inside of this box, we have bought the cheapest Walmart gaming PC. I did something very bad. I went to walmart.com, sort of low to high on gaming PCs, and this thing showed up. And of course, the listing had a bunch of Fortnite people on it. So it's great for Fortnite, but is it really? Well, we're about to find out. But first, they were from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Lexar and their new Aries DDR4 and DDR5 memory. First, the DDR4 memory comes packed with speeds up to 4,000 megahertz and capacities of up to 16 gigabytes while also including some beautiful RGB and an all white design making it great for any gaming PC build. The DDR5 kit also rocks fast speeds of up to 5200 megahertz and comes in a sleek all black design and capacities of up to 32 gigabytes. Check the link down below to learn more about Lexar and all the memory products they offer and special thanks again to them for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the video shall we? So a quick disclaimer for those of you who don't know Walmart is sort of like an Amazon or an eBay eBay and assorts where if you go to their online store and you just simply type in an item, you're going to get other sellers that will ship through Walmart. So it's basically sold and shipped by BTO, which is actually a pretty prevalent company on like Amazon and eBay and some other stores. But yeah, we just basically went onto Walmart's website, sorted from low to high. And this is the very first one that came up under the gaming category. Keep in mind, if you want to buy one from Walmart, you can. They do have gaming PCs, but they start at like the $500 range and just go up from there. And they're basically just HP, Dell, and that's Acer pretty much it. And this thing features the legendary GT730, which is not really known for being that great of a gaming car, but with some optimized settings, which we're going to dive into, you can play your Fortnites and Valorants with it and get close to that 60 FPS experience. So let's not waste any more time, open this thing up and see what's inside. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Um, how much should we pay for this, Matt? So 220 bucks, free shipping. And uh, yeah, it seemed like a decent deal. I mean, it is a GT 730, which is not crazy, but for a working computer, an upgrade office PC, and theoretically some support from this company if something went wrong, I mean, it's not too bad. This is interesting. So it looks like they just used one of those, like, was it UPS pre-packed envelopes for their, no, it's FedEx for their instructions and stuff, I assume. Now keep in mind, these are like used PCs. And if you don't know that, then I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be buying one. But yeah, I mean, it, it's this is going to be an old HP tower with like maybe a second or third gen i5, if I had to guess. But we get their BTO mouse. And uh, that's kind of one of the reasons I remember this company is they are big enough to where they have their own branding of stuff. I mean, it's not very fancy or expensive branding, but hey, they have it. So yeah, it looks like it's really simple. We just get a power cable. We get their SJ computers. So maybe they're owned by like a, like a parent company kind of tells you some basic stuff the stuff you're gonna see and then it says an amazon renewed so maybe they're just listing on walmart and they have the same inventory right. system and they probably list that's on a amazon good point and well. they just throw these in all of them maybe who knows yeah. i don't know could be kind of scary it looks like they actually do use yeah they actually form this stuff ain't cheap it's not um although i don't know maybe it does save them money because this is a big computer that i'm sure it could really easily break here's the tell us to plug into the graphics card and not up here on the back of the computer smart smart yep you got got to do that because people, well, they don't listen. I'm sure we'll still plug it in the wrong spot, probably. Are you able to lift this heavy beast, this monstrous computer? I mean, I computer. hope so. They kind of give you a little bit of room. Open the box. Thank you. Thank you very much. They included Wi-Fi. Oh. We don't do that for free. <laughs> you gotta pay for that. You gotta, gotta pay for that luxury. Right, I'm just gonna pull this whole thing out because I don't really want right. to rip this. I will yoink the box out of the way. There she yeah, goes. it's funny because we actually we sell a similar computer to this over at our PC selling business PC Bros. And um, we normally don't use full size ones like this mainly because you said free shipping. Free shipping can get really expensive on an item like this that's really big. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I am curious because this is actually this is kind of cool. It's a HP workstation. It's one of their Z series. This is a Z210. One of the only advantages I would say of having this large system is you do have more of an upgrade path than having like the small form factor system. So we'll go ahead and, and we're not gonna undo that because we're just gonna lose it. Every, yeah, every time we do that, we just end up losing them. The nice part about the workstations too is they usually have a good amount of like USB ports and stuff. It looks like our 730 actually has three display outs. Definitely, you know, different than the typical like two display outs at a 1030 or some of the 710s would have. And boom, it looks we just crazy. Yeah. So these workstations, I mean, some of them were so crazy. You could get like dual CPU sockets. They often have really high wattage power supplies. This one might not be too crazy, but yeah, 400 watts is not super crazy, but look how big this thing is for 400 watts. Definitely a lot. One, I guess you could say disadvantage you know, when buying really any computer this cheap is you're probably only going to get a hard drive. This is a one terabyte Seagate drive, and this is going to be a used drive. It's not going to be new because, well, I mean, first of all, just look at it. You can tell it's used. 
Look, see, it has like a dent in it. And uh, secondly, a new hard drive, like a one terabyte is gonna run you 30 to 50 bucks. And that's, I mean, where's your profit margin at that point? We do have like a pretty beefy cooler. So that's definitely nice. And uh, do you remember what exact CPU it's gonna it, It's another one of those. It just I5 said i5. So we're gonna okay. have to find out. What's that? Like those extra connectors, they just- I don't know, it almost looks like it goes here, but- Use like a putty or something to like- <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it was adhesive down. So I'm gonna assume they don't want you to plug that in. And they did that so that it like didn't move around. But well, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of like set this down and. Let's take off the cooler, see what we got. I can tell the GT730 is not like a super cheap model. I mean, it actually has a heat sink with a <laughs> Wait, fan. Wait, it has BTO braiding on it. Is it really? The fan does. Wow, fancy. It looks like for RAM, we just have a single, I assume eight gig stick. A BTO RAM. <laughs> wow, BTO RAM. And it is, um, yeah, eight gig, 1600 megahertz. So wow, BTO has really gone like all out with their branding. So they must, um, they must have something going on. Must be a pretty good sized company. So I'm going to grab a flat head now and let's see what they do in terms of thermal pasta. Thermal paste was definitely not like completely cleaned off. You can tell by how there's like two different colors. They, they kind of combined. Doesn't look bad. The good news is it's better than having like, you know, super old cakey thermal paste, but just for fun, you can obviously, by the way, you don't have to do any of this. You can just go into the BIOS. You can go into like the command prompt. I'm um, sorry, not command prompt, task manager. Yep, 2400, classic. Oh, legend. Simply classic. So 2400, four core, four thread. Um, relatively okay clock speed. It's definitely not great for like, I mean, it's not good at all for AAA titles, but I will say the 2400 can definitely handle a better GPU and it can handle more RAM. So that is the nice part about this is like, there is an ever so slight upgrade path. That's just, you know, kind of keep that in mind when buying one of these systems is do you want to upgrade it? And if you do, it's almost not a, the best idea to buy something like this out of the gate. Just get one yourself, like buy the HP off of eBay um, and then add your own graphics card. So yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is put some some thermal paste back on this. Really, if you're buying this computer, you don't need to do much of this stuff unless you're having some temperature issues, but we just like to do it because one, we want to see what the CPU is before we actually start benchmarking, and two, we're gonna use that discontinued thermal paste. Oh, MX4, not discontinued, the quality MX4, stuff. But we still do have MX5. MX5, you don't want to use that stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, load some games on this and see how she does. All right, guys, we're starting this off with Valor. Now, our capture card's being a little bit weird. We think it's the capture card. It could also be just the computer being kind of weird, but we don't have audio going straight into the card. So we're actually using, you know, these OG computers have speakers built in. And so we're using the built-in speaker and it's actually not too bad, surprisingly, it's kind of loud. If you're interested in computer speakers, this does have it. So what we're gonna be doing is testing games that will kind of run on a GT730. It is a budget card and Valorant is definitely a game that runs on pretty much anything. So that's why we decided to go with this game and at 1080p low settings, the FPS is still pretty solid. Let's see what this, this let's see what this old boy can do. Let's see if we can teach an old dog some new tricks, Matt. Damn, it's out of control. Dude, they call me the dink master. They call me the little, little, little dinky boy. Where is everyone at? Everyone has left the game. I went too crazy on him. Oh, oh. man. Dude, look at that long line of hit lists. Whoa. Don't hit me. Dude, that jet is eating my cheeks. Uh, oh no. Uh, uh, yeah, so so far, I mean, 107 FPS. We are in low settings. I don't know if I said that, but uh, Valorant 1080p, low settings. We're not looking bad by any means. It's definitely, you wouldn't really want to use this for like hardcore comp gameplay because there is those input delays that are just enough to, I'd say, kind of make it annoying. Um, you can definitely tell you're not playing on like a professional esports PC, but it definitely doesn't mean that you can't have fun gameplay that, that looks pretty decent. One kill remaining, they're going to get it. They got it. They got Dang. it. Dang. Dag Nabbit. Dag Nabbit, 24 kills though, but you know yeah, what? Good. Yeah, Valorant runs. It runs fine. Now let's try the game that they were advertising. Fortnite. Fortnite. Can it Fortnite? All right, guys, we are in everyone's favorite game, Fortnite, running at 1080p, 80% render scale, performance with all those settings. Reason I'm with these settings is because, is because we tested an R5 240, which is a $12 graphics card on these settings. And once you get down to like, oh, I don't know, 70% uh, render scale, while being with a slightly better CPU, you are gonna get a 60 FPS experience. and. Uh, Right now, not looking too hot. Um, I would imagine this PC was like a advertised Fortnite PC years ago. Uh, Fortnite has gotten a little bit harder to run than in its original release. Performance mode does help it a little bit. Still, you're gonna not get an amazing gaming experience nowadays. It's just, it's very hit or miss. See the FPS kinda all over the place. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to kill this guy, but he's gonna come at me hot anyways. You little bush warrior you. Home skillet, heat about that home cooking. I have like no ammo, I really shouldn't be doing this. 
but hey, in some areas we're getting up to 60 FPS, but we're actually looking at anything that has, you know, any sort of visual quality to it. Um, it definitely drops and is not a good setup for sure. In a second, if I go in here and I survive, I will try and swap. Oh, oh God. Oh, how did I survive that? I don't know, but I'm alive, kinda. Oh God, there's a lot of gunshots going on outside. Look at that, the sun is rising. We're getting almost 80 FPS. Not very sustainable in my honest opinion, but I have no shields, but you know what? We're just going out there. You know what? Actually, we're going to lower the render scale. They might come in and kill me before I do this, but we're at 65. That's about as low as I would go before it starts looking ridiculous. There we go. That's looking a little better. Close to 60. Lowering the render scale does help a lot in Fortnite. There's a lot of games that like, it doesn't help at all, but in this game, it does help a good amount. Oh, one thing to mention too, is I tried to install an updated driver for this 730. GeForce Experience refused to install. I'm dead, but also uh, I couldn't install a driver it kept failing because it didn't support the version of Windows, but the version of Windows was fully installed, fully installed, fully updated. So I'm not totally sure why I couldn't update the drivers, but we haven't gotten any warnings yet that this thing is out of date. So I don't think the performance is going to change that much with the driver update, but you get close to 60 FPS on Fortnite setting. Get that guy, get him. Yeah, there we go. That's what's up. But yeah, Fortnite, somewhat playable. What we're going to go ahead and do is run a couple other games. We actually threw GTA 5 in here. Let us know down below if you actually like GTA 5 to be in the benchmark runs. A lot of people People have asked for it and we just haven't tested it because, well, we just don't know how popular it is. Let us know down below if you want to continue to do that. So we'll GTA 5 built-in benchmark and then we'll also be doing Rainbow Six Siege and their built-in benchmark. So let's do that. All right, guys, we are now in GTA 5. We're going to run on normal settings using the built-in benchmark. Now, yes, this game is, well, a uh, older title, so it's really not going to have any issues realistically, but the GT 730 is a low-end card. So there's a chance we might get below 60 FPS here or a little bit below 60 to where it's not a very playable experience, but this is a game with like the RP mod that people are really into nowadays. So we're just gonna let the built-in benchmark run and see what kind of numbers we get. Ooh, I was wrong about that one. Normal settings, we get like 25 FPS. Definitely bottlenecked by that GT 730. GTA is still a little bit harder to run than I thought. This game is definitely older, but yeah, there's still some issues with this getting 20 by 30 fps i mean this thing used to run on a 360 it definitely didn't look around 360 but yeah running on normal settings 20 fps don't imagine it getting much higher than that so realistically i'd imagine this pc is just mainly for low-end fortnite and office tasks i know fortnite was the targeted uh marketing here but at 200 dollars you know, you can pick up an old Xbox like 360 or Xbox One or something for a little bit more and have a much better gaming experience. So in terms of value for money, it's really not there. Um, but I mean, at least it kind of runs. So I'll just let this finish and then we'll see the averages. It looks like on average, we got about 25 to 26 FPS and Jackson is staring into my soul right now. And uh, yeah, that's not really that playable, but we're gonna go ahead and run one more game real quick and uh, then wrap this video up real quick. He's just, he just broke in. I don't know what he's doing. All right, guys, the last game we're gonna be testing is Rainbow Six Siege and the menu is not giving me much confidence. We are at 720p and we're only getting like 14 FPS. So let's just let this benchmark run. Maybe I'll be surprised if the menu is just more demanding than the actual benchmark, which would be very funny to see. Yeah, we're just gonna let the benchmark run and see what happens. So yeah, we only average 31 FPS here. Overall, again, this is a PC that can do a little bit of gaming. You don't wanna stretch it too far, but it's mainly designed for office tasks and you can get into the games like Fortnite and whatnot. So yeah, overall, I mean, it's not bad. It's not crashing. It's not having any like stability issues. So it's a functioning computer and uh, yeah, it works. So we'll start this video up real quick. All right, guys, so we just got done benchmarking this gigantic HP Z series and basically pretty much a glorified office PC. And we are no strangers to that because that's honestly one of our number one sold PCs. And we've done so many videos in the past on HPs, Dells, Lenovo's, where we basically just take these old office systems and slap in a graphics card. We always recommend doing it yourself if you can and you're comfortable doing it. There is some weird workarounds that you'll probably have to do, such as PCI lanes can be disabled, RAM slots can be disabled, just a lot of things that might not work perfectly that companies like this and companies like 
us will kind of take out of the loop to make it a little bit easier on you. But for $230 plus tax and free shipping, I mean, if that's all you got and you want to play some Fortnite, some Valorant, and not much past that, then this is a decent option. So if you want to check out this PC or any other PCs we actually suggest, link in the description down below will be affiliate links and it will help us out. Let us know where you want us to buy the next cheapest PC. Do you want us to go to Target? Do you want us to go to Goodwill? Goodwill won't work, but I'll, I'll just say it Goodwill. Y'all might say Goodwill down below. It could will. <laughs> it could will. Aha. Uh -huh. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, if you guys like I said, want to buy from us, you know, yours truly support the Toasty Bros and PC Bros, check out PCBros.tech. We sell high-end office, not office PCs, high-end gaming PCs and office PCs if you're on a budget. Just a second, I got a swallow. I love that we never redo these, but we always find a way to mess them up now. Ah, sorry, so. I just ate and it, 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 you know, just stuff happens. But yeah. use code TOSTYBROS2 on checkout to save 2%. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.